Hi there, it's Tyrone Shum from OutsourcingLive.com and welcome to the dedicated channel where I share with you outsourcing tips and strategies on how to outsource your business. In today's video, I want to share with you a job website called OnlineJobs.ph and this job website is something that people have asked me in the past and also still currently today, is it a good website? Can you find some good people from this website to hire and outsource to? And my simple answer is yes and no. <laughs> I personally experienced and used this site myself in the past and it has been 50-50. Uh, I haven't been all that successful to find the right people and I have hired people from here but it hasn't always worked out well. And even in the past when I've tried this, I felt some of the people who were listed here were also candidates from a very popular site called bestjobs.ph. But basically, before I do get into it, I just want to give you a quick overview of this and, and to give you an idea of what this site's used for. Basically, online jobs is just a job seeking website. So, employees which are located in the Philippines who are looking for a job will come and list their resumes on here. And it's an opportunity for people around the world, for example, Americans, Australians, Singaporeans, Can Canadians, UK, and other English speaking companies can come here and search for people. Now, for employees from the Philippines, it's free for them to list here. It doesn't cost them anything but for employers, it does cost a fee which I'll go into that a little bit later on as well. But essentially, all of this place is is just a central location for you to find potential employees or potential virtual staff for your business and it can be good and also it can be bad depending on what situation you're in and what you're looking for and also how much time you have. But let me just run through some pros and cons of this site because ultimately this is just a review to let you and guide you, give you some uh, idea on how this site works and whether or not it's a site you should use on a regular basis and I'll let you decide on that because I'm just giving you a, a sort of a, an opinion and my experience on what I've done with this site. Now to sign up to the site is pretty easy, it only takes like a couple minutes or so and all you need to do is confirm your email. And once you've done that, there is a very easy to access area over here and this is what I do find as a, a really powerful thing about this site, it's, it's great for this. There's an area here which you can just do a quick search to find people immediately, you don't have to click on any other links and find it. And I per in personally have usually searched for people in a month or less and people who are usually full time. Monthly salary, you can obviously select that if you want but I'll leave that any. And most of the time that I've been looking, I've been either finding programmers or virtual assistants or article writers. So maybe I'll just type in maybe PHP developer today just for example sake because that's a specific type of person or candidate. And when you type it in, you can see that it'll come up with a whole list of results and currently it's come up with 75 results. Now, what I first noticed and wanted to just point out is what's interesting is a lot of these people have signed up going back October and, and June. Oh, that's not too bad. It's about three months ago. But a few of these people have signed up, gone back, and apparently have been last updated just yesterday, which is a bit strange because I think either the system's automatically generating this or they really have come in and updated their resumes. But I feel sometimes as though some of these resumes are a little bit out of date. And that's the reason why I've been hesitant to go back to it, to use it personally a lot. And I just wanted to do a review to let you decide whether or not this is something you would use. But let's just click on this one. Um, PHP developer, it's come up with a strange re re result, but I want to click on it and see what it does. There we go. So, this, in terms of uh, some of the pros before I get into the, any of the cons of this site, is wow, this is. Um, I mean, I'm, I'm just having a look at it right now and this has come up with some bizarre stuff. So, I mean, this is not a good thing for their site. I mean, I have not even done anything except just went and did a search and that's what came up with the first result. So, that's definitely already a bad thing and I'm just doing this live as I'm going through. The second thing I want to go through, just to give you an overview is that what I like about it, I got to say is that when you look through here, it does go through very easy to see and a good summary of say a potential candidate. So that's something that I do recommend and, and do you know agree with. It's a good good thing for any person that's searching as an employer and it's very easy to see. You see the age, 
the person, the day that they posted, that's what I was a bit concerned about and they said that last updated. Um, but then, you know, depending on the employee, if they've worked for another company for a few few months and they decide, all right, a year later I want to come in and look for another job, then that's that's fair enough. This is a two-year web developer. Um, BS doesn't mean, you know, BS, but it means Bachelor of Science of Information Technology. And I think for the pe rude people out there, they might think it's, uh, yeah, BS, but no. So, yeah, this is good for that side of things. Now, uh, what I found is that I really like the skill summary to a certain extent. This is basically their own judgment of what they think their skills are and it's rated out stars. But to the point though, it is very, very detailed and too much of it because when I go through this, I'm a bit overwhelmed as an employee and uh, employer and when I'm looking for a person in the business, I don't really want to see too much of this. I mean, it's good to have some but I think it's gone a little bit overboard with it because it's just too much. That's my opinion anyway. But it is good for a quick glance and to see what it is. And as as I mentioned, this is their self-rating system. So they could say that they're good at, um, say, Microsoft Excel. But in actual fact, they could be uh, poor at it. So it's their own self-rating. And the only way to know is when you actually interview them and test their skills. That's the only way to really know. So that's a good thing in that sense. The other thing I just wanted to point out is... Yes, this site has a lot of resumes. It could be either outdated as such and you probably have seen some of that already you can see or it's just a, it is getting a high amount of traffic that's coming through. Especially when I saw, it's, saw some of its rankings here, it is apparently getting a lot of traffic and a lot of people signing up. So I found in the past when I've used it that a lot of these candidates will not reply back um, just from personal experience. But in saying that, there is a whole selection of candidates to choose from and you can check it out in that side of things. I guess I wanted to also just point out a few other positives about this site. Is If you're searching, for example, and you found a candidate and they're great and matching your skill set, then the good thing is that you can easily email them directly by clicking on a link. Obviously, at the moment, I haven't upgraded because I've just signed up for a free account. But I know that when I was using this before, I can just click on a button and it will automatically allow me to email them directly. Whereas I've used bestjobs.ph and I have to actually copy and paste and put it into email account to do it. So this is a positive about that. It allows you to be able to click on a link in here and it will email them directly. So that's a great thing. The other thing as well is that with this particular site, um, if say for example you've hired this person, you can actually mark them as being hired. So any other employers looking at this person will not be able to hire them again unless you know they're willing to be um, poached by someone else or they are seriously not interested in sticking with your company. So it is a good thing in that sense that it will take them off the market in that sense and let employers know that they are, have been hired. So that's another positive about this site. And furthermore, the good thing I've noticed as well is that you can bookmark. So you can save a potential job seeker and put them into like a bookmark section and come back to them later on. And not only that, you can post your own ads in here. So you can just click on jobs, post it and people such as the employees here will be able to apply to you and on top of that, be able to um, send you their details and so forth. So it wouldn't be too bad because the fact is that you're going to get resumes from them. But you need to be very strict about the filtering process because you can receive hundreds of candidates and you need to actually make sure that there is a strong process involved because you don't want to be overwhelmed and it'll take you a lot more time. Now, let's go on to the cons about this um, or the not, not so good things about this site. First thing, as I did show you just then, there was some issues with its searches and it doesn't always come up with the right search all the time. So you got to just be aware of that. And there are a lot of resumes here. It's It can take you hours to go through and filter the process and it might actually not be worth your time. So that's something just to keep in mind. If you're on a tight budget, that's cool. But at the same time, you still need to pay for this site. And if you're able to pay on a monthly basis, which is $47 per month from what I remember last and I've heard from people, 47 times 12, that's about almost $600 a year. Now with that $600 a year, you could actually go and hire potentially through another um, service which I've recommended to you in the past called Get, get Virtual Starfinder.com for $350 per hire and they'll do all the legwork for you. So think about it that way, you know, you're, you're tossing up between that as well. And then finally as well, I mean, there's a really smart service here done for you which is basically they'll go out, interview for you, find all that, you know, all that criteria and so forth. But 
at a price of 800 bucks, I think that's, in my opinion, very, very high, especially when there are other companies who are charging much less than that for like maybe uh, 200 to about $400 per hire. And that's because I guess a lot of those other companies already have scale. Um, but the person behind this company, John Jonas, is obviously charging a huge margin for his time to do it. And that's the reason why $800, I don't recommend doing it because it's quite expensive. And as I said to you, I get virtualstarfinder.com and it charges $350 to do that. So it's less than half that price. In saying that, what I was going to say was that with regards to hiring through them um, or going through this resume site, it's good for that, but not to do this because you know, you could pay $800 to actually have someone full-time staff for you per month through a recruit, through a full-time outsourcing company. You know, they, they usually charge anywhere between $800 to $1,200 per month to be able to have someone working in-house as well. So that's my opinion. You know, if, if you're happy to pay for that, then that's cool, but I, I've already recommended a few other resources. Anyway, that's pretty much it. I've gone through it pretty thorough. There's, I've even shown you how to do a search, what kind of things you can do, what the account looks like and stuff. And if you do have any questions about this site, let me know. You know, leave it down below in my comment section on outsourcinglive.com and I'd love to hear your feedback from there. But I just try to be as real as possible, share with you what I've experienced with this site and as I said, I've had a 50-50 experience. Sometimes employees have been good but I've never had anyone that I've retained from there and so far, no one working in my business is actually from this site. So I can't really quite say yes or no but I've had some mixed feedback from people. Some people said it's been great, you know, it's, it's been fantastic and then some people have told me that no, nah, it hasn't even worked out, they've wasted a lot of time. So I'll let you be the judge of that and I'd love to hear some more of your feedback. So feel free to do that. In the meantime, just remember, just outsource it. Now, if you like more resources like this one, you can find them inside Mass Outsource Mastermind along with video tutorials and step-by-step -step instructions showing exactly how I use them. To get a 30-day no-risk trial membership to Mass Outsource Mastermind, simply visit freevideoset.com. Until next time, I wish you success in your quest for outsourcing.